Uh, this product uh, provides a high potency or high levels of carnitine, uh, 1,250 milligrams per one ounce serving. So it is uh, a high level. Uh, there are other carnitine, liquid carnitine products out there, but we, you know, really focus on delivering a very high level or a concentrated level of liquid carnitine. And, uh, you know, the liquid carnitine for is very efficient. It, it really gets into the body very quickly, uh, and, and it's necessary for the efficient and optimal burning of, of fat. Carnitine is stored primarily in muscle, uh, skeletal and cardiac muscle. As you can see in the product data sheet, 97%. Uh, so it's highly concentrated in muscle uh, for fat metabolism. And as I said, it's absolutely essential for uh, delivering the mitochondria fats, the, the furnace cell known as, as beta oxidation. Another component that plays a role here is panathenic acid because the role of panathenic acid is in uh, this coenzyme A uh, molecule. And uh, it's very important in terms of beta oxidation uh, to produce acetyl-CoA and eventually uh, ATP uh, in the mitochondria. So it's kind of a piggyback. It not only shuttles fats into the cell, but also piggybacks coenzyme A from panathenic acid to form what's called acetyl-CoA. Those of you who know the Krebs cycle or the uh, TCA cycle know that, you know, that's got to be generated to actually uh, use fat as fuel. So uh, panathenic acid, which we added into the formula, and vitamin B6 is also critical in doing that. Um, I just wanted to give you a perspective of how many mitochondria we actually have in the body. Uh, we have about 80 to 100 trillion cells in the human body, so, you know, that's a lot. And each cell, each cell of those 100 trillion contain about 1,000 mitochondria. The mitochondria are the powerhouse units, kind of the, uh, the furnace, uh, you know, in the cell. And so you can see that, you know, within the body we can have somewhere between a quadrillion and a quintillion, <laughs> 10 to the 15th to 10 to the 18th, uh, numbers of mitochondria. The mitochondria burn fat. You need carnitine to burn fat in the cell. So uh, as you can see, even though it's, it's a massive number, uh, carnitine is critical to doing that. In terms of recommendation, uh, you know, if somebody is, needs to lose a lot of weight, uh, probably would recommend, you know, one to three servings of, of carnitine throughout the day if they're not taking it in any other product. Uh, it's, it's a little bit like creatine. You know, our body does produce carnitine, but, you know, if they want to stimulate the body's uh, release of fat, you know, I would kind of recommend, uh, and again, it's non-toxic, uh, you know, maybe three times a day. Uh, most effective and taken before exercise because, as you can see by now, that it does stimulate the use of fats during exercise. So it will just make the fat burning process during exercise more efficient. Uh, you know, people, if, if you take it, it, it may even, I mean, uh, the product tastes so good, it may even give an individual uh, encouragement or they'll kind of go out and feel like exercising. So, you know, it may have that beneficial effect. Uh, it's a very cool nutrient. It's one of my top top ten nutrients. Uh, very excited about, you know, having this now in our line. Uh, I think you'll find it extremely versatile. It's a great add-on to many of the weight loss uh, products that we currently have. So it comes in two sizes, uh, both a 16-ounce and a 32-ounce. Uh, I'm sure most individuals will buy the 32-ounce, but if they wanted to try the product, you know, we do have in the two sizes. I know a lot of uh, bodybuilders before competition in terms of that competitive, you know, the two to three weeks before competition may actually uh, increase their carnitine intake, you know, to really get the maximum fat burning uh, uh, machine going in their body to kind of help the mitochondria. So this would be another uh, kind of in that pre-competition, uh, you know, phase uh, prior to any type of an event or, you know, really kind of maximizing uh, the body's fat uh, metabolism, I would also see that, um, you know, as being very important. Again, as I said, I'm trying to really stress this point. You cannot burn fat without carnitine, <laughs> period. 
And so it is that key delivery. It, it's, it's the shuttling of fat into the cell. So it really works on a very, very different mechanism than CLA. Uh, CLA, you know, the studies on weight loss kind of uh, go through a whole different process. So they complement each other. They work on different mechanisms. But carnitine is really the true, uh, you know, system to deliver uh, energy into the muscle independent of CLA. I mean, I would say carnitine is far more important than CLA for that. CLA observations have been the, the uh, conjugated linoleic acid has been more for the, the fatty acid role, but not as much. So, um, uh, you know, they work together, they complement each other, uh, but carnitine is really the true molecule for fat burning. So it really does support optimal fat metabolism and energy production. And again, you know, a key message is that our bodies, our mitochondria, does not wor burn one molecule of fat without carnitine. So, you know, it's truly essential to burn fat. And it's really the central ingredient in fat metabolism. Uh, it's non-stimulating, so it works very quietly and silently uh, in, in fat metabolism. So it's not a stimulant. And again, it works very well with caffeine and those uh, agents that actually release fat from fat cells is kind of like uh, having uh, wood, you know, thinking of your muscle mitochondria as a, uh, a, a fireplace in your house. And you've got all this wood outside, and basically the caffeine and the stimulants is going to kind of chop the wood, you know, large pieces of wood. Some of you live in those areas where you have cords of wood that you need to uh, burn for heat. The caffeine will kind of break that down, but in order to actually get that wood into small pieces into the fireplace to burn, you need carnitine. So it's kind of assisting, uh, you know, actually delivering that wood into the fireplace and generating the heat to actually burn for energy. So on a very simple level, you can kind of think of that just burning in a fireplace. You need carnitine to actually get the wood. You know, you can have piles and piles and piles, you know, 100 feet high of wood, but unless you have that that tool to actually deliver it into that furnace, you're not doing anything. You just have a lot of fuel there. Same thing with what's very interesting of, of using stimulants. If you're sitting in the car driving in traffic and wolfing down a lot of caffeine and whatnot, your body is basically not, is looking for, hey, you know, we've got all this fuel. We want to use it for energy. And if it's not available during exercise, it may just shuttle it right back into the fat cells. So when you're talking about true fat burning, uh, carnitine is really the key molecule that does that. And delivering carnitine throughout the day for weight loss is very important and also for energy. So it really does have a dual role. We're kind of focusing this product in more of the weight loss category, which is very appropriate, but um, also it's, it's, it's a very important uh, ingredient for uh, energy metabolism and especially endurance type of exercise.